Hey, everyone, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. My guest today is Paul Chatlin, and we're going to talk about whether or not heart disease can truly be reversed, and did he reverse his heart disease? And he is also in the current ultimate vegan health and weight loss bundle with a wonderful offering. This is the only one that we allowed live with Dr. Joel Furman and Dr. Alan Goldhammer. You're not going to want to miss this. So I put his link to buy the bundle from him in both the chat and the show notes. But let's hear about his story about heart disease reversal, or was it? Please welcome Paul to the show. It's always nice to see you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm, I'm excited. I like being with you. Yeah, you're fun. You got a lot of you got good energy. You got a good mojo. So we haven't you haven't been on the show for a while. So I don't know your recent story. And I'd love to hear it. And I'd love the viewers to know. But start with the first story before you get into the second part of the story. Fair enough. Okay. So so for those who know me, I'm sorry, I'm repeating for those who don't it's first time. So long story short, I'll try and wrap the chapter one up quickly. Uh, family history, all the males in my family either died or had quadruple bypasses in their 50s. This is when I was a young, very young man. Uh, when I got into my 30s, my cholesterol started going higher and higher. It reached uh, 347. And then my doctor said, you know what, we're going to put you on some a statin. Put me on Zocor, got the side effects. Couldn't walk for a couple of days. Got off of it, felt better. Got on Zocor. Was good for about seven months, had the side effects. They ended up putting me on Pravastatin back then. Oh, way back 30 years ago, there's only three choices. He had me on 80 milligrams of Provostatin for the next oh, 20 years. And the lowest I could ever get my cholesterol was 280. Uh, so one day at, at the age of about 54, I started feeling some chest pain. And, you know, I'm not the smartest person in the room at times. I just thought it would go away. And it did. I would have some discomfort in the morning. I would be able to do my thing. And I was always a very active person. And then at night, it would remind me that I've got chest pain. And this continued for about two to three months. And then one day I was at a meeting and started sweating, walked out of the room and literally could not take seven steps. And right then I knew I needed to go get some help. I went to my doctor and he heard a heart murmur he had not heard before, got me over to a cardiologist within the next few days. And they did a series of tests up to a heart catheter and a heart biopsy. And uh, I will never forget, he came into me, the doctor, he says, well, we're going to schedule the biopsy and we're going to schedule a heart catheter. But 30 years of my experience tells me that you're going to need immediate bypass surgery or a heart transplant. Well, when someone says that, it kind of, you know, reminded me of my, my dad and his brothers all dying in their, you know, in their 50s. I was in my 50s. So immediately I go back to my wife at work. I had not really shared with her what was going on because I love her so darn much. I didn't want to worry her. So I went into her office, went into a conference room, started explaining the whole story. Tears started flowing. Her boss walks in and I have to explain it now to him what's going on. Immediately, he says to me, hey, hold on, let me make a few calls. And within about a day, he got me into the Cleveland Clinic the day before I was going to go to my local hospital. Everyone knows of the Cleveland Clinic and that's where I wanted to go. So it was like a miracle because it's not easy to get in so quickly. I go into the Cleveland Clinic and they do all the tests that I had done before, plus a heart catheter. And I always got to get a little chuckle about it because the person, you know, I, I met my doctor for the very first time and his position was he was director of heart transplant. So all the information he received was making him think I need a heart transplant, by the way. That's very scary heart transplant. It's, it's just, wow. It just, I was like, whoa. So I had the heart catheter done and I kept hearing him because I'm in kind of twilight when they're doing it. And I hear him going, yes, yes, yes. And I'm like, why were you so happy? He says, you don't need a transplant, but you need immediate bypass surgery. So here I am all prepped up being wheeled in. And just at the surgery door, he stops and says, hey, I've only offered this to one other person in 20 years, but would you consider a lifestyle change? And I said, yes. Like, I didn't even know what that meant. I just said, I'll do anything, right? And, and it was so funny because on the way there, I kept doing this, hey, God, if you save me this time, and I, I've relied on him many times to get me out of trouble. And I said, I promise I'll do something special. So here I was with a doctor I met for the first time going to a hospital that I was lucky to get in. And it turns out his mentor in med school was Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn. I had no idea who Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn was. 
So immediately he gets this, it's like 9.30 at night. He makes a call. He says, hey, Essie, this is Mass. That's short for his doctor name. He said, I want you to talk to somebody. I think that uh, you could help him. So Dr. Esselstyn says, hey, just go on home and I'll give you a call in the morning. I'm like, wow. So I drive home from Cleveland back to Michigan. The next morning, we spend about an hour and a half on the phone. I get his book. And immediately, immediately after reading it, I take all the bad food, all the animal products, the dairy products, all the oil, give it to charity. And I'm spending four hours at Whole Foods reading labels. And then all of a sudden, some crazy cool stuff happened. First, within about 14 days, my angina went away. It was like unbelievable. And then all the vegetables that I hated growing up, because I said, no matter what, I'm going to eat vegetables, fruits, beans, and whole grains. No matter what, I'm not going to, I'm not going to stray from this food choice, lifestyle change. And all of a sudden, I didn't mind eating the food. My taste buds changed. But see, at that point, I was still in really bad shape. So I had an enlarged heart, leaky valve, scar cytosis of the aorta, left bundle block, and a heart murmur. So what they did is they needed to shrink the heart so the valves wouldn't keep bleeding out. And they put me on this medication. So for the next 60 days, I was somewhat bedridden because, you know, the heart's a muscle. And if you don't work the, the muscle, you, you shrink it. And uh, I, during that whole period of time, I'm like, wow. This is miserable. I am just simply sleeping and then trying to cook whole food plant-based back, you know, uh, back, oh, I don't know, 12 years ago. There weren't that many cookbooks today. Oh, my God. There's so many great ones. And by the way, PBNSG, my organization, has one. And we're offering it. So I thought to myself, okay, I promised to give something back, and I meant it. And initially, this is something very few people know. I went to a cooking class because I can't cook too well. And I went to the Essence cooking class. I took their receipt. I put it in the Blue Cross Blue Shield, and they denied me. I said, there's my mission. I'm going to try and get a pay code at Blue Cross Blue Shield. So I spent the next, you know, six, seven weeks working up uh, to the highest level I can. And at the end, they rejected it, saying that you have to work with the Michigan legislature. And I'm like, I, I don't want to do that. That's a two hours from my house. Plus, Michigan's the second biggest dairy producer. Good luck, Paul. So instead, I said, you know what I'll do? I'll put a $20 ad in the paper, in my local paper, and I'll just say, hey, I'm able to stop heart disease. And I get, you know, just a couple sentences. And if you're interested in what I'm doing, give me a call. Within two days, I had 20 people call me and they came to my house a week later. And I was like, wow, this is great. I showed them everything I was doing. And what was so, what's so amazing of the 20, 18 are still part of PBNSG in my organization. They became what was small group hosts. So then I said, well, I'll do it again. And again, within a few days, I had another 20 people. I said, whoa, I'm on to something. All right, this is, this is pretty powerful. So I realized that it was going to keep growing, but I was not a doctor. And people are asking medical questions. So I went to the uh, heads of two hospitals. I said, let me know the names of any lifestyle cardiologist or holistic cardiologist. And they gave me three names each. One name was repeating. It was Dr. Joel Kahn. I had never met the guy in my life. But I went to his house about a couple of days later. And right then I said, let's you and I do something special and let's promote this whole food plant-based. And we set up our first meeting. It actually was at Beaumont Hospital where he was a doctor. And we thought maybe 20, 30 people would show up. We had 121. The following month, we thought it would be less, but they had 141 people. And then we said, well, let's continue this. A day before or two days before our third uh, meeting, Beaumont kicks us out because I know that we were promoting whole food plant-based and they were a standard American diet hospital. So I had to go run around, find a place. We ended up going into the Birmingham school system. They opened their hearts to us and we started PBNSG. And it, initially it was just simply a, a whole food plant-based, no oil heart disease organization. But over the time we started growing into weight loss, diabetes, different illnesses, modalities, and uh, trust me, though, I, I really had always wanted to get into planetary and animals, but I always thought to myself, until we get the humans right, you know, animals and unfortunately the planet are going to continue suffering. So that was our efforts. Today, we have, you know, about 12,000 members. We've got, you know, a, a connection out there in the 100,000 social media connections. And our goal is simply to educate people on the benefits of whole food plant-based. So here I was just working my tail off like most of us do. And uh, about September 
of this past year, I started getting, this is chapter two, by the way, I started getting the angina again. And believe me, you know, like, you know, it truly is like the elephant on your chest. And I'm like, this can't be happening. I've been, I've been faithful. You know, I've been a faithful man to this diet, you know, this lifestyle change. And it was getting worse and worse. And then it finally hit me where all of a sudden I could not take again, you know, I couldn't push a grocery cart at a grocery store and I would just stand there and it would just, I was just in so much pain. So immediately, once again, I call my friends at the Cleveland Clinic and I go there and uh, it turns out that my LAD was 99% blocked. If I had waited a few more weeks, I wouldn't be here today. And I was put, uh, I was given a stent. And to me, it was kind of depressing. So it's, you know, the whole month of September was kind of a, a downer for me, the positive person, because I just thought, wow, I, I married whole food plant-based and I was true to it. And here I was. So I started doing some research into LP little a, and it turns out that it's really a genetic marker. So uh, my number is like way high, way, way, way high. So the question is, what can I do about it? Well, I'm going to show you. Um, this is going to be kind of fun. Hold on. This is how whack-a-mole I am. Okay. Now, look oh, wow. <laughs> these are called, these are supplements. I just bought this yesterday. Okay. So everyone can see it. Here, poster child for supplements. Okay. So I write letters to my members every single day. And I'm an open book to everybody. And I explained what was going on. And my, some of my members sent me some information. One was a study that was being done that if you take these like 15 supplements, just everybody, I want you to know this. I don't want supplements. I eat whole food plant-based. However, saying that, um, it was like, you know, take on some niacin. By the way, anybody who's never had niacin, it's kind of like a small acid trip for a few minutes on your body because your whole you're like you know how you, you, you your leg falls asleep well you take niacin it's like your whole body falls asleep for a second and initially it was like oh my god and then now it's kind of like yeah it's kind of fun all right so um i take a combination of lysine proline zinc vitamin c niacin a, 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 a whole array of different supplements and I did it for the first six weeks, probably starting in October, did a blood test before, a blood test after. And guess what? My LP little a did drop about 80 points. Now it's still way high. So now my chapter two of this is I'm going to continue doing this for six months and just see how much I could lower it. Now saying that, I will also share with everybody, when you have heart disease, ask your doctor to just get an LP little a test because I didn't, you know, just like I didn't understand lifestyle change, I had no idea what LP little a was. So now I'm suggesting anybody who has heart disease, ask their doctor, you know, like I used to say, hey, get a full lipid panel, but that's very expensive. But if you say to your doctor, let me know my cholesterol, my A1C, my uh, triglycerides, but give me an idea of what my LP little a is and just ask for that specifically. It costs like $30, $40 to, to get the test done. And um, what I'm finding out now is you can lower through supplements to how low, I'm not sure, I'll let you know. But where we are with LP little a is, and by the way, that's kind of like, you know, I'm just an average guy, nobody. Uh, it, it's like, I'm a plaque factory. That's what LP little a is. No matter what I do, whatever the diet I'm on, I make a lot of plaque, but the, the help is on the way. They just finished Amgen, a, a phase two study, and I applied to be in their phase three study. And um, in the phase two study, they were able to give somebody a shot every 12 weeks, and it lowered the LP little a by, drum roll, 95%. So where I'm at, just so everybody knows, is that I'm trying to get into the study. Now, even if I get in, it could be a placebo I get. Or it could be the actual shot. I won't know if I get in, but I'll be writing about it and putting it on PBNSG's uh, website. But uh, within three to five years, very good chance that it's going to be out there in the market. So what am I to do? Right now, I'm, I'm going to try the supplements. Right now, I'm going to uh, keep eating whole food, plant-based, no oil, and then hope that I'm part of the study. If not, hey, it's up to God to, to, to get me through the next three to five years. So that's kind of, you know, so, so in kind of a conclusion on me, it's, you know, like, Hey, I thought 
I was heart attack proof when I went whole food, plant-based, no oil. And what I've realized is it bought me like 12 years and I'm still in love with whole food, plant-based. And I am because at 65, I still could work out every day and I'm never sore. And I've been able to keep the 70 pounds off of me. So when you're around your people of my age and they're like, well, I got to take all these pills or I'm hurting, I'm all like, I don't say a word because I feel great. I feel great. Now I just got to work on the LP little A. So that's kind of my story. Now, what is LP little A? Like a like lipoprotein a- little A. That's the big word for it. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm not sciencey enough to give a long description of it, but what I can say is that it's genetic. You're born with it. And it just, as I described it, I am a plaque factory. So regardless of all the greens I eat to help the endothelial, to help reduce the plaque, I'm still producing a lot of plaque. And, you know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm at war. I'm going to, I'm fighting, it. you know, I'm fighting it. Wow. And what are the, what is the test you recommend people get? Somebody's asking live. Uh, well, it's, 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 if they want, I could send them the study that I'm trying to do with this array of supplements. You could email me Paul at the letter P is in Paul, B is in boy, N is in Nancy, S is in Sam, G is in girl dot org. And if you email me and you put a smiley face on it, I'll send you the study. You don't have to do the smiley face, but I'll send it to you. And then you decide we're all grown, grown ass adults. You decide if it's worthwhile or not. I mean, the supplements aren't, aren't that cheap. I mean, I get them at the store. I don't have to, you know, like special order them, but it's kind of weird because a person like me who's never wanted supplements and did it by whole foods. I sit there in the morning and in the afternoon and I'm dropping about 12 of these supplements and I feel like I'm I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a pharmacist or something. It's crazy, but I'm doing it for science. Okay, so I'm using my body for science, and hopefully I keep lowering this LP little A. Time will tell. Nice. Hey, talk about the bundle because you have a really fun, wonderful offering in the Ultimate Vegan Health and Weight Loss Bundle this year. Oh, I'd love to. Okay, so um, boy, I, 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 it's like both of them are amazing. First, I guess we'll do the speakers. You know, like. There are, there are speakers and then there are giant speakers and everyone knows and has heard of Alan Goldhammer and also with Dr. Joel Furman. So we're offering, uh, I think one's in March, one's in May. You just have to uh, check it out, which is who and where, uh, but they are going to do a speaker event for PPNSG on Zoom Live. And it'll give you guys a chance to ask questions uh, of the experts, and they are truly the experts. And the other one, I probably have probably the most pride you could imagine. We have a cookbook <clears throat> called Perfectly Plant Based. And what makes it so amazing is we have 33 chefs that contribute on our website. So we decided one day we need, there wasn't any that I know of, and maybe there is now, uh, any whole food plant based, no oil cookbooks. So I, I went to our chefs and I said, hey, who would like to join in? And, and trust me, um, Vicky got brought and uh, Denise Kling Peltro were our head chefs. And they connected with all the other chefs that who wants to contribute? And every one of them has a recipe and many of them have multiple. We have like 120 recipes that are whole food, plant based, no oil. So, you know, we've got a lot of cookbooks out there, but this one is whole food, plant based, no oil. Nice. Yeah. And what's nice is if people want to watch the, if they can't make the live, you were kind enough to put the replay link in for people that buy the bundle. So it's, it's going to be fantastic if they can't make it live. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I, I would say the only thing I'd like to just uh, have anybody consider is my, the PBNSG organization is a national support organization. We had to make changes since COVID. So we were doing live events, getting 500 to 1,000. Chef AJ, remember, you you, you were live and yeah, you brought the house down. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I gave you my winter coat. You never gave it back. Um, <laughs> all right, like no, no, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. But I, I knew how cold it was. It was like, oh, my God, it really was cold that day. Uh, but saying that, um, you know, we used to have 500 to 1,000. I think you had like 800 people for your talk. It was just so much fun. But when COVID hit, we had to go virtual and we're going to, you know, we stayed virtual. 
but we are the only support group out there nationally. And we made a change. We were expanding with what we called small groups. So they were small little community groups all over Michigan, spreading out to the Midwest and a few other states. And we were going to continue. But with COVID, we had to stop and we kind of shifted gears. And now we've got 15 specific support groups, specific for heart disease, diabetes, obesity. Uh, we have a workout group, a yoga group. So, you know, first, anybody with a couple of initials at the end of their name could call me and uh, want to be a, a host of it. So, you know, just give me a shout. Uh, if I give my number, I'll be interested. Email me, paul at pbnsg.org. Um, and for a whopping $20 a month, you could be, you could go to every single support group. We have 15 of them. They're all every single month. We have a community support group. We have speaker events and we have culinary events. And we do this every single month. And it allows you to connect up with like-minded people who may have the same issues you have or chefs who bring something new to the table or uh, the giant speakers of the world that come on our platform and give talks. That's who we are. That is fantastic. I love it. Hey, yeah. uh, um, there's a question from a live viewer wondering if you had the calcium cardiac calcium scan that Dr. Khan recommends. Um, I, I've had it once before. I mean, I've done, you know, like, like he is, um, he, he's, he's a friend of mine. I mean, you know, I, I I'm close to him. Um, a little backstory is that, you know, like any friendship, you have some bumps along the way, but he's been a true blue friend from the moment I met him to right now. So um, I, I, I haven't, it's been a few years, maybe five years since I had the calcium scores. So I can't, I don't want to misspeak about it, but I've had his cardiac test. If he suggests something, I generally will, will give it a go, but I'm, I'm not, I don't want to talk too much on the calcium. I'm sorry. But uh, I don't know enough about it to, 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 to sound intelligent. No worries. And uh, Joe says, I came in late. Is, is Paul saying that even though he followed Dr. Esselstyn's plan, he still had plaque building up? Uh, Joe, yes. And it had, no, you know, oh, by the way, everyone should know this. My cholesterol number is 88. Okay. So I've got my LDL is 44. I mean, like you're, everyone's going like heart attack proof stuff, right? But that's where the LP little A came in. And again, it, it kind of just took me by surprise. But um, I, I I still am creating the plaque because of this genetic issue with LP little A. And um, I look at it differently. Uh, it's not like I've got high cholesterol. I don't. I've just got this LP little A issue. Um, but whole food plant-based did buy me 12 years of Supreme health and, and good, you know, and I'm going to continue. Fantastic. Everybody wants to know what you eat in a day. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm the most boring eater in the whole planet. So I wake up in the morning. I start my day, believe it or not, with like four or five bottles of water. I have to have those supplements. So I got to drink them down. But what I notice is when I drink four or five bottles, I do it for two reasons. One is I wake up super early and I work out like it's six, six 30. I lift weights for about 30 minutes. And then I jump on my bike. I'm down here in Florida right now. And I bike ride for a few hours. So the water just kind of helps me. And I'm not hungry waking up. But the first meal I generally have is either oatmeal with a whole bunch of fruits. And I, I do a, a combination of like cinnamon spice with nutmeg, with apple pie spice and pumpkin spice. So I, I dance it up with a little bit of raisins and fruits. Or... I have a huge broccoli, a bowl of broccoli. I, I just like broccoli. So I'll have that. Uh, and then I'll flip flop them in the afternoon for my lunch. Or I'll have one of those huge steamed salads. And I use uh, balsamic with pepper. And, you know, like I said, I just, I, I, everybody, here's the deal. I, I realized when I was making this change, I grew up in a family that lived and, you know, we every day we'd wake up, hey, what do you want to have for lunch? What do you want to have for dinner? You know, it was like, everything was about food. When I got the heart disease, I realized when I made the change to fruits, vegetables, beans, and whole grains, I was the only one in my family. Now, since I've got a, one of my sons who's that way, a cousin who's that way, but my whole family is still eating standard American diet stuff. That's okay. I love them. They're good people. Uh, but the point is, is that I look at food differently. I look at food as something I need to consume so I can do all the fun things I try to do every day. 
So for dinner, I will just basically, I'm a batch cooker. So the other day I made enough lentil burgers to last for about 15 meals. And then I'll add in a baked potato. There's some really great gravy recipes that are whole food plant-based. I can pour over it with a little side salad. So I, I do that. I just, I, I, I eat kind of boring, you know, but again, as soon as I start feeling full, the energy is there. I, I get to enjoy other aspects of my life. Wait, I lost you. Can't hear you. Sorry about that. Oh. You're a big exercise fan, aren't you? I, you know what? It keeps me out of trouble. And, you know, and, and the thing is, too, is it's like, I, yeah, I, 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 you know, listen, I'm a very lucky person in that um, I, I'm not trying to get bigger, stronger at my age. I just think that, and I've read enough about it that says, if you're going to do one thing, you need to do some light weight lifting. Now, you know, I used, I could brag about what I used to lift and when I weighed 230 pounds. Uh, but today I weigh 160 and, and I don't lift like I used to, but I think it's important to person as they get older, to keep your bones strong. And then I either take a walk. And it can be a couple hours. I put my headset on with my crazy music or I go for a bike ride, depending on how windy it is. It's simply that. And uh, to me, I do that because then by the time I get home, I'm a little tired and I get to eat a little bit. And then anything I do the rest of the day, I'm happy. I, I got my workout in and I don't do it every day. I do it like six days a week. But I just think working out is the gift you give yourself. Yeah. Do you, uh, Monique says, do you still have a left bundle branch block? You know what? You're, I was I was born with that. The answer is yes. OK, I'm, I've always had it. Uh, it was discovered probably in my 30s ish, you know, but my doctor claims that, you know, you're, I was just born with it. Um, so, uh, I mean, it hasn't affected me. I, I know that if the left or uh, the right one stopped, I'd probably have about, oh, 60 minutes to get a pacemaker or to get something, uh, you know, uh, attended to. But, uh, you know, my big issue right now is I'm going after LP little a it's personal. <laughs> I love it. That's fantastic. Have you had a chance to look at the, at the um, bundle to see what some of the other great offerings are? Oh, you know, you, you know what, Chef AJ, I got to tell you something like we've done this. This is our second dance, you and I, and I love you for that. I really do. Because not only does it kind of bring people that you haven't heard together as one, and that's one of my themes together as one, and you're the one who's doing it. And I want to compliment you because, you know, I, I would like to think that all the giants should be part of this. You're one of them. I mean, you are. Okay, let's not be bashful. You are. But I mean, you are bringing a whole lot of my friends. And, and I looked at the list and I've got a lot of people that have spoken or hosted or are part of my organization that are part of your bundle. And like, to me, it's like, wow, you're getting so much for so little and it gets shipped to you. It's like, again, you know, once in a while, it's okay to give yourself a little gift, but there's, you, you've got everything anybody would want to be, you know, uh, ready to go after lowering weight, lowering cholesterol, lowering diabetes. It's all there in your bundle. Right. I think this, this, especially for somebody, even if you're not just starting out, it's beneficial, but for people starting out, this would be a great resource. You know, if I had you 12, 13 years ago when I started, boy, I tell you, the, the, the pain and suffering I had of trying to like create recipes and, and what equipment I should have and all that. I mean, if I found out today I had heart disease, the first thing I'd do is I would buy the everything on the bundle because you've got cook, you've got everything. You got cookbooks, equipment, you've got every you got speakers, you've got you got everything that anybody needs to take care of their health. Fitness too. Yeah. Oh, I love fitness. Yeah. Yep. Even even a yoga certification course. Well, it's great uh, catching up with you. Let us know how the supplement thing is going to, you know, how I will. It out. I'd love to have like a part three of the discussion. I, you know what? I, I, you are part of my plans and you're part of my heart. So thank you so much for inviting me. Uh, everybody uh, smiles all day to everyone who's listening and watching and uh, together as one. Uh, check out pbnsg.org. Thank you so much. Again yeah, and, for and, you know, me. I want people to know that like you have a free level too. I mean, you know, it, it's great if people can join, but you do a, a Zoom thing once a month, I believe. Yeah, right? once a month, we, we've got a community event that everybody's invited free of charge. And again, we have a variety of different hosts. We throw a little education in each time. Um, but everyone needs to have a safe place because, you know, when you make this journey, 
you know, still, let's be honest, that you're, you're in a very small minority and you need to know that you're not alone. And if you are part of PBNSG, I promise you'll never feel alone. Thank you. Thank you so much, Paul. All right. Have a wonderful day and thank you, everybody. Take care. And thanks all to you for watching another episode of Chef AJ Live. Please come back in about 25 minutes for our regular programming, Rewind Your Body Clock with Janie Goddard, whose guest today is Dr. Frank Sabatino. Take care.